Hi everybody, I'm Ralph and I like music and blinking lights. In my last video I promised a new software synthesizer project based on a Teensy board and asked you to check back soon. I'm still refining the user interface and also the synthesizer proper, so I have to ask for a little more patience. I intend to make a multi-part video series because I want to go into a little more detail on how it works and discuss some of the challenges I had met when building it. By the way, the sound you hear in the background is coming from the synthesizer. Now, while I was refining the code and also collecting information for my video, I stumbled across a video by the electronics dude Great Scott, where he introduces a microcontroller development board that's far more powerful than the usual range of Arduinos. It's a development board called Blue Pill that's based on an STM32 microcontroller. It uses an ARM Cortex core similar to the one on the Teensy board, but at a fraction of the cost. The board costs about $2 compared to the Teensy at close to $20. Now I usually try being on top of these things, but to be honest, the blue pill totally escaped my attention. So of course, I immediately ordered two of these boards and I am eagerly awaiting their arrival. In the meantime, I have installed the required software modules and libraries to compile the synth for the STM microcontroller. Although the STM32 has less program and data memory, i.e. flash and the statigram, and also runs on a lower clock frequency, I think it should be able to run the same code, albeit perhaps with one or two fewer voices of polyphony. Note that the Teensy is overclocked at the rate of 96 MHz. But even if I end up needing two of these STM32 boards for voicing the synth, and perhaps an additional Arduino Nano, for MIDI and the user interface, I'd still have a polysynth at the fraction of the cost of a single Teensy, so I think it's worth the wait. So, while I continue refining the synthesizer and producing the video, here's a little challenge for you. If you have a hunch as to what kind of synth it might be, why don't you leave a hint in the description? Don't spill the beans, just find a way of letting me know that you know while leaving everybody else in the dark guessing. I'm curious if anybody responds. In the meantime, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more music and blinking lights. Tschüss zusammen!